Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Lena and it's just the first week of September. So it is the perfect time to shop for some fall pieces. So today we're going thrifting and let's go. So I'm home now and I'm ready to show you everything that I found. And I was looking for some trendy pieces that is trendy and relevant for the season, but also found a lot of timeless classic stuff that I would wear every year no matter of fashion trends. So if you need some inspiration for your fall outfits, keep watching because I hope I will give you some. So let's stop talking and move to the clothes. So I moved a little bit back because I'm gonna show you something. And the first thing that I found is this sweater west and I think like knit sweater west what can be more fall like it can look so nice over some white button up but at the same time it looks okay as a regular top too look great with any type of bottoms from mini skirts to casual jeans or classic pants and if you want to get yourself one my advice is to take it in few sizes up for this relaxed chic oversized fit and i was looking specifically for the west because i knew i want one but the next thing i just bumped into it and i thought like it would be such a perfect fall piece i can't describe how cute this top is definitely give me some scream queen vibes this top can dress up any simple outfit but it still looks pretty muted and moderate it will look so great under some oversized blazer because with any bando top you can create this perfect combo when you're wearing something skin tight as a first layer and then you're wearing something oversized on top of it because when you're creating some outfit it will always look a little bit more interesting if you're playing with different styles in one outfit when you mix it or different forms different fabrics and this bento top is perfect example of this because you can see like classic winter fabric this fuzziness and everything and at the same time bento top is such a summer piece and this contrast it is this exact thing that makes this top interesting and the next thing is the classic button up but with really interesting print and wearing this silky button up kind of shirt with your favorite pair of jeans is like the easiest way to create this effortless chic look but i prefer to wear it as a second layer like a light jacket or something sometimes it's hot outside but inside it's a little bit colder because of the ac so it's great to have something like this button up and i think in this case it's more like an accessory and silk is really spanky fabric so even if you wear something casual and simple it instantly makes your outfit more sophisticated and exquisite and i also like how print on this exact shirt give me kind of a gucci vibe and the next thing that i found was a real treasure and it is this vintage if Saint Laurent suit you know like oversized men's blazers have a special place in my heart and i think i even can say like this is my favorite piece of garment ever i'm really happy when i can find some vintage designer pieces in a great condition and i will always choose men's suit over women's because i think it looks more edgy and trendy and it doesn't look like you go into the office or something and talking about blazers again it wouldn't be me if i didn't buy at least too so this is the next one that i found maybe i watched too many chanel runaways recently or maybe it's my addiction to gossip girl and blair Waldorf style but i really find this tweed type of blazers really interesting nowadays 
And to be honest, it's not something that I would wear on a regular basis in my day-to-day -day life. But I can clearly see myself styling this for some specific outfit. And I don't know why, but it makes me so excited to think about it. And I am definitely will not be doing this total ladylike, Chanel-like look with it. But I easily can see it in some more casual street style look, maybe with some baggy pants or jeans. By the way, you can follow me on Instagram to see the looks that I'm creating. And we're somewhere in the middle of this video, so I think this is a great time to give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm saying and also subscribe to this channel. Each like and subscription means a lot, especially for small channels like mine. So I really appreciate your support. So we're moving forward and the next thing is this pair of shoes. And it is the only thing that I didn't buy with all other things that I'm showing you today, but this is such a great fall piece. I thrifted it like a few weeks ago and I still decided to include in this video. I was happy to find this exact shoes because I think this brown orangey velvet is so perfect for the fall outfits and also they have this square toe. This style of shoes was, if I can say, out of style for a long time and now it's becoming a thing. So if you're looking for some pair of shoes for upcoming season, I think you can give it a try. And this shirt is the last thing that I found during this trip to the thrift. The mid sleeve polo shirt, it's extremely trendy this season, but you can also go for like long sleeve or a classic t-shirt if you want to. And of course you can choose any color you like, but classic never dies. You can wear like beige one or black one white or something. I chose the blue one because my eyes are kind of grayish blue, so the shirt complements them so well. So this fall we have vests and polos and also pretty recently it was super trendy to wear this tennis skirt with every outfit. So I think this preppy kind of style really taking over. And as you can see, this is the latest outfit that I did, so I can't deny I really like it. I also found a few pretty nice classic structured blazers, but I think it's enough with blazers for today. So. If you like all the stuff that I thrifted, I think it would be interesting to you to check out my Depop store. There you can find a lot of cool stuff. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. I said, beam me up, I'm on fire. I'm on my ground, cause that's all we know, we know. Beam me up, I'm getting higher. I'm on mine, got me singing, all we know, we know. I'm on fire, I'm on my grind, got me singing, oh yeah.